We begin tonight with Azimio leader Raila Odinga, who's launched an online portal for a signature collection in the opposition's quest to delegitimize the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Dubbed Tumechoka, the Azimio team aims at collecting 15 million signatures in the quest to oust President William Ruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa from office, saying they have failed to prioritize the plight of Kenyans and instead instituted punitive taxation laws. Odinga, who held a public engagement meeting at the Kenyatta Market in Nairobi, urged Kenyans, irrespective of their political affiliation, to come out in large numbers on Wednesday and join the protests. And as Chemtai Goin reports, the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, has outlawed the Wednesday protests, saying no notification has been submitted to them for authorization. Ahead of his Wednesday call to action, Azimio leader Raila Odinga, accompanied by fellow Azimio principals, including leaders of affiliate parties, was in Kenyatta Market in Gumo area for a quick lunch and an engagement to the traders and the people who received him. Odinga, who later addressed the crowd that had gathered, implored his supporters and those inclined to do so to turn up in large numbers for what he termed a kamkunjir of a lifetime. <laughs> Tukawambia msiongeze ingine. Ruto hakusikia. Anasema yeo ni anajua. Tati mewambia wei utajua hujui. Na tunambia ata polisi wetu. Wawe nyewezi wanaumia. Kwa hivu asijo anatupa tupa tia gazo vio vio. Kesho kamukunji itakuwa kila mahali kenya hii. Wangapu atajitokeza. But in what will likely result in chaos and mayhem, Inspector General of Police Jafet Koome, through a statement sent late evening, has outlawed the demonstration saying they had not received any notification from the organizers and owing to these, the police will have no choice but to disperse the demonstrators. In his words, quote, no such demonstrations, gathering or protests will be allowed tomorrow since no such notification has been presented to any police station. All lawful means will be used to disperse such demonstrations, end quote. Dr. Odinga is now keying in. The announcement came hours after Odinga unveiled the coalition's online signature collection portal, which he said will be used to rally their supporters against the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Through the citizens' initiative dubbed to Mechoka, the Azimio team hopes to collect 15 million signatures to protest what they repeatedly refer to as an illegitimate administration and to oust the president and his deputy from office. platform is now up and running. And any Kenyan, wherever they are, you can just go to www.tumechoka.com and you will be able to access it. The platform requires one to enter their details, including the national identity card, phone number, constituency and county, before appending the signature and submitting after filling all fields. A message will inform one on whether or not they have been successful. This is part of the campaign of resistance, the civil disobedience and citizens' actions that we have decided to pursue to force Ruto and his regime to respect and listen to the people. We want to ask you to cease waging warfare against your people when they exercise their constitutional rights. The Azimio team, rattled by what they termed as executive capture of the legislature, which saw MPs give a note to the Finance Bill 2023, which was quickly assented to by President William Ruto, imposing heavy taxation on workers and businesses. Both the legislature and the executive have ganged up against the people, and the people have been left on their own. In return, the people have decided, rightly, to gang up against the executive and the legislature. The people have decided to invoke Article 1 of the Constitution. Odinga stating that the opposition was ready for Wednesday's protest. No amount of shooting 
tear gas, or even assassination will stop the march of history in this country. We appeal to Kenyans to come out in even bigger numbers and make their voices heard. With the time, Ruto will respect Kenyans. Besides the cost of living, other issues that have catalyzed the opposition protests are the government's refusal to open the server for an audit of the 2022 presidential election results, the bipartisan reconstitution of the IEBC, and also interference in the affairs of the Azimio coalition. To purport to be taking over a political party. And this move is not only aimed at Jubilee, it is aimed actually at crippling Azimio. That's how it must be interpreted. And they are the ones pushing for the corrupts of Jubilee as one of the parties that is targeted within Azimio fraternity. And it is a clear indication of their desire to kill multipartyism in this country. They also sounded a warning to police officers whom they said were using excessive and unnecessary force during the protests revealing plans to institute legal action against the men in uniform. As the Azimio coalition continue to dismiss those that have termed their signature collection drive as a bluff, they went ahead to launch their digital signature collection portal which will run concurrently alongside their weekly mass protests and also an ongoing manual signature collection exercise. Chamutai Goin, Citizen